or we're going to do left. Okay, never. Today is the day. I've been noticing lately, I don't know if it's due to the weather change or what have you, but my skin is getting really dry. And I, it's like I moisturize and then I, t I, t I see like flakiness up here. I have a uh, combination skin and we're gonna rectify that right now. Today, I'm gonna do a lactic acid pill. I'm gonna show you how I actually go about doing it. Really simple. First things first, gather your tools. I have measuring cups, but I'm probably only going to need the tablespoon. I have a measuring ounce glass. I don't drink. A small bowl, glass bowl. Um, fan brush. Fan brush. And my stopwatch timer. Oh yeah, and water. Okay, so what I'm going to use is um, a 44% lactic acid on my face. This is 88%, so we're going to have to dilute it. And I'll show you how. I get my tablespoon, and I pour a tablespoon of my lactic acid, and I put it in my bowl. This is really tough stuff here, kids. Hold on. And then I put my cap back on my lactic acid jug because I'm clumsy and I'm totally not gonna whoop up. Then I take a tablespoon of Georgia's finest, add it to my bowl. So it's a 50-50 mixture. So my lactic acid is completely dissolved or completely diluted. And then I just mix it with my fan brush, nothing fancy. Um, it's very liquidy, and you definitely won't need this much for your face at all. So feel free to use the rest of this on your body if you like, or anywhere else. Um, I know that there are some ladies out there, if you have trouble with your feet, if you have calluses on the heels of your feet because you've been wearing those heels, well, honey, you put a little bit of this lactic acid on your on the uh, balls of your feet and the heels of your feet and let it sit for about two to three minutes and then neutralize it with some baking soda. In a couple days, you'll be able to use a pumice stone to slough off the dead skin and uh, it'll be really, really smooth. So it doesn't really matter how much baking soda you use. Basically, this is going to be to neutralize the lactic acid. So um, I'm going to artfully and skillfully pour however much I need into this bad boy. That seems like a lot. Um, I'm just gonna put some it back in there. Mm -hmm. Hey. And then, see, whatever, half a shot glass. <clears throat> uh, measuring cup uh, thing. And s mix that around. And you want the bacon soda to be mixed in. So, mixing it in like such until it's somewhat dissolved. And uh, what I'm going to be using to neutralize my lactic acid peel is just a cotton ball dipped into our neutralizing solution. Okay, so this is what we do next, okay? We smooth all of our crazy hair out of the way, like that, and then I am going to make sure that my fan brush is good and saturate with the solution. We're going to pay uh, close attention to the dry areas of my face, the forehead, you want your cheeks, your chin. Um, you can even do your, uh, your neck, your decollete, I don't even know how to, how do you pronounce that? I don't know. That area. I'm going to do my nose. You want to make sure that you stay away from the very sensitive areas of your, uh, eyes. Um, I think you might even want to probably use, uh, if this is your first time, you're going to want to put a base or a barrier to protect those sensitive spots. You might want to put a little bit of Vaseline around your eye socket, um, around the open areas of your nose and on the corners of your mouth because this 
tends to be very sensitive. But my skin is tough, so I'm not going to do that. But for those of you who this is your first time, um, I would do a little bit of research first and figure uh, find out what might be the best uh, modus operandi. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and start my timer because I want to leave the solution on for about two minutes. So you see what I'm doing, just brushing it on, just like I would apply um, foundation. And I'm just going to paint my face. Now I can already feel a slight tingling. So, um, oh, and you want to make sure that you don't drip into your eye sockets because that's <laughs> That'd be bad, okay? So we're doing this. Yeah. Okay, so you want your fan brush to be saturated, um, but not to the point where it's dripping, because that could be a problem. Okay. And we're getting all of our face painting. Painting, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's get those eyebrows. Let's get those eyebrows. So look, it's already been a minute and two seconds. Moving right along, swimmingly. I'm gonna do my nose. And basically what this is doing, is just exfoliating your skin. It's, it's kind of like um, the same thing as scrubbing. It's just a lot more effective and a lot quicker and easier. But you must remember that when you're doing lactic acid peels, you are, um, your skin is going to be a lot more sensitive to the sun, so you're going to want to make sure that before you step out or before you put on your makeup, apply a really good zinc-based skin barrier. And since this uh, is not like the TCA pill, you don't really have to worry too much about um, putting on too many layers. All right, so we're done with this. I'm not going to use this for anything, so I'm just going to pour it down the drain. Rinse off my brush, and it's been two minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and get this neutralizing game. So we have our solution right here, and I'm just going to saturate my thing, and you can already hear it sizzle. Please do not be alarmed. When it neutralizes the lipolactic acid, there is a chemical reaction, and it sounds like bacon sizzling. <laughs> so, do. Yeah. I'm neutralizing the solution on my face. It's just science, kids. I know there's people who are going to be like, oh, okay, check and me. I won't ever be doing this. There's a bit of a thermal reaction, so my skin is um, reacting to that, so that's why it's turning a bit flushed. So, just to make sure we got it all. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and I would like pretty holiday hair. You know what? I'm just gonna curl it and put a wig on. To be honest with you, but that acid pills um, right now is not a good indicator of how it's going to look because I kind of sort of look like I have a flu or the cold or something right now. But in the next couple of days, my skin will start to be luminous and it's already super duper soft 
but I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a little bit of uh, facial wash while I'm in the shower. And I'm going to pat it dry and I will show you the final result later. Thanks for joining me. Toodle.